So, how do we create a new paradise on Earth? Have women in charge. <laughs> <laughs> For one. Uh, basically, and this is the conclusion I've come to after 40 years in the field of environment, that we have to retrain the next generation to restore the planet. We have to restore the forests, the waters, the soils, the air, everything we have destroyed, humankind has destroyed. And you look at it, these are the elements, these are the four life-giving elements. Without one of them, there's no life. So we have to restore the planet, the elements that we have abused over, I would say the last 150 years, seriously, with industrialization. And with, of course, human greed and human ignorance, uh, we have destroyed what gives life. So um, you look at it, you go from country to country to country to country, all around the world. And uh, I have been to, you know, over 120 countries. And I've seen the best and I've seen the worst. Right now I live in Beijing, where you can't breathe the air. I mean, you can't drink the water. Um, I mean, what kind of life is that? You know, you don't see the stars. You barely ever see the sun. I mean, uh, nature is like gone. So, uh, and no matter where you go on the planet, you know, let's take Bali, mm -hmm. or the Philippines, anywhere in Africa, even in Europe, a lot of young people, I mean, in the Philippines, 65% of all young people are unemployed. Mm -hmm. And some countries are even more so. I mean, Bali, what mm -hmm. is the employment for these young mm -hmm. people? Mm -hmm. So it would be taking this next generation, and they would be trained to restore the ecosystems of the planet, and they would be trained in green livelihoods, mm -hmm. solar energy, wind energy, you know, how to build green, how to live green, and there's billions of jobs there. I mean, there is no reason in the entire world for unemployment. There's plenty of jobs for everyone, mm -hmm. but it's because we have an economy where everything negative makes money. Sickness mm -hmm. is a huge economy. Throwing people in jail is a huge economy. Wars and other huge War, you know, killing people, wars, yeah. is a huge economy, the weapons industry. So, you know, everything in destroying the planet is economic. So everything negative is what the world economy is running on now. Mm -hmm. And you have all these billionaires and trillionaires, and, you know, they make all their money helping destroying the planet. Sure. And there's going to be nothing for the kids. I mean, your grandchildren, my children, grandchildren, there's going to be nothing left for these kids. We have created global warming. There's going to be deserts. We're running out of water. I mean, we're in serious trouble. The oceans are dying. The oceans, and that's maybe even the biggest problem because 70% of our oxygen comes from the oceans. And we're killing them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The finest microscopic life, the reefs, they're dying. And there goes the oxygen. Scientists, that's actually one of the ones the scientists are the most worried about, yeah. is the oceans. Yeah. I mean, you know, we have, uh, you know, Amazonia, and we have the huge forest in Congo mm -hmm. that are being slashed and burned like mm -hmm. crazy that are also two major lungs mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. give us oxygen and be carbon sinks. Mm -hmm. But they're going. Mm -hmm. Fast. So, if we're going to create a new paradise, mm -hmm. we have to use the armies of the world, the young people of the world, to restore all the ecosystems that we have destroyed. And fast, very fast. This mm -hmm. is an emergency situation.